Hey all viewers, today we're going to be attempting to replace the belt in this Bissell Power Glide Pets vacuum. I need to clean this up still. This is a curb find for free. I've just been using it in the garage since I got it. I'm not a big fan of bagless vacuums. I think they're pretty messy, but in the garage it kind of makes sense because it's a high volume application where there's a lot of dirt, so you just keep dumping out the... Out the uh, the container thing there. Plus you can suck up anything you want and not feel like you're wasting bags. Anyways, uh, it's a good machine. It works pretty well. But the brush roll is not working as well as it should be anymore. And uh, I think it just needs a new belt. So I've ordered some new belts and I have them here. These are for style 7, 9, 10, 12, and 16. It's model 32074 and hopefully this is correct. Um, I've never serviced this vacuum before. In fact, I've never really serviced any vacuums beyond the Auric. So, it might be somewhat of a learning curve here. But, uh, let's get into this and see what we can do. So, it's kind of got like a Hoover-esque kind of design wonder if there's a connection. So I think this will unlatch. We got two, there's a third tab there. It's going to be a little tricky to press all three of them at once. Yeah, I really got to give this a good cleaning. There's a lot of dirt and dust caked in there. Um, so here's the belt already, and it is, it's totally rotted out. There should not be that much play. It slips with ease, so that's why it's not working very well. Um, we probably need to get in there and clean the motor out and everything. But, uh, looks like we can probably just slip it off on this, this side. And we gotta take the brush roll out first. Now we gotta figure out how the rest of this comes out. Uh, let's see, we got, we got a couple screws here. Let's try the screws. We got a screw down here. And we got a screw right here. another screw right here there's a bump around here it doesn't seem to reveal anything screw over here, although I'm not sure that that's what's holding it on. Hmm. Okay, maybe all those screws did not need to come out and it just pulls out from the side there. Alright, so here's the brush roll. It is definitely starting to wear down. You can see the leading edge of the bristles is, is worn down compared to the other side. You can't just turn it around, that would be convenient, but it uh, won't fit. But it's still in good enough shape, we'll keep using it for a little while. So now I think this will slip off. Maybe. It's going to be a little bit tricky, but I think I can get it off. There we go. So here's the old belt. And you can see it probably sat off for a while. It's got a... a spot of memory on there. So this is uh, style 7810 part numbers 
worn off, but this says seven this says seven and ten and nine. Seven, nine, ten. So I think this is the right one. So let's open this up. We got two in here, so I'll keep one for a couple years from now. Oh boy, that's not good. That's... What the heck? This is 7 slash 9 slash 10. This is style 7 slash 9 slash 10. It should be the right thing. And it is... It does have some stretch to it, so... Maybe it just needs to stretch out a little bit. Um, yeah, I think it'll be okay. Is it meant to have pretty a tight fit? Uh, while we've got this off, I'm gonna have to come back in here soon, anyways, to to uh, clean the rest of this. But let's just get some of this junk off of here. So this is actually the bearing over here. So maybe we'll put some oil on that when I service it better at a later date. This is actually surprisingly clean for something that's probably never been serviced. I've never serviced it and I doubt the original owner ever serviced it. That belt probably has been on there for since it was new. Looks like there's actually no suction here on this end. That's probably why this is all excessively piled up over here is because it's it's not doing anything. It's just moving dirt around. So it says a wide cleaning path. I mean, it's not it's not entirely true because for the last inch or two past the belt, it's not really doing anything. Well, that's not at all exclusive to this vacuum. I've seen. Many other ones designed the same way. Alright, that's good enough for now. So this belt will go through here like this. And then uh, that goes down there. And it is a tight fit. There's a lot of tension on there now, but that is the way it's supposed to be. Now it won't slip. Alright, so I took all these screws out here, but I think that was not necessary. So I'm going to go ahead and just put these back and we'll pretend I didn't do that. Is that where that one even went? No, it's not. Duh. That one went here. Well, that was actually pretty easy. It was toolless too, but I did with the tools was not necessary. Pretty decent design, I would say. And this is abysmal, but I will come back and clean this later on.
things aren't giving me a good snap like they're really in there but they are shut it looks like there's provisions for a screw to go through there there's the stud in the back for it to screw into and there's the hole but it's blocked it's a piece of plastic there just kind of weird same thing right there all right well that's uh that's back together let's put it back on the floor and see how it works it should work a lot better now on the carpets much much better on the carpets i believe improvement in performance that's going to work so much better on the carpets now